Hey, this is Anthony Threzel, TV we can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Raceway Jacket, available at Revzilla.com. Part of the new collection from Revit, this is the Raceway, and it's going to be a two to three season warm weather sport and European oriented jacket. If we look at it, it's sport cut on high vis. Brian has a nice race line to it, and it falls in that sub $300 range. So when I think about it, sport riding, sport commuting, sport touring, if you want a Euro line with a little bit of an aggressive look, you can wear this in a multitude of riding positions as well as riding conditions. Now, if I think about the other products that would complement the Raceway and the Revit lineup, I think about two primarily. There's a shield, which is basically a waterproof version of this jacket with a thermal liner. And then there's also going to be the GT Air, which is really a two season hot weather mesh oriented version of a sport short waisted jacket. Keep that in mind if you're really evaluating where you go. But if we look at this jacket, CE rated full Knox complement, and you're going to have four vents, two shoulder vents and two exit two exhaust vents on the back, and really that's it. It's going to be a nice textile chassis that's going to flow air and give you the versatility to either beef up your base layers or shut down or open those vents in summertime riding depending on the conditions. Now, five colors available. This is black and white. There's a murdered out black. There's a white black, and there's also going to be a red and two red colorways as well as a high vis. So you have a handful of choices to choose from when you're thinking about the style factor and how it's going to link up with the rest of your gear. Keep that in mind. And when we get back to high vis, Brian, he's high vis all of the time. Six foot, 195. From a fit standpoint, he's wearing a size large in the raceway. But keep in mind, it's not an aggressive race cut. It's also not a touring cut. We call this sport cut, and it's going to have a little bit of a boxiness to the main chassis, but it's not going to be overly baggy, so it's not going to hang on his frame. So again, a little bit of that versatility for the everyday sport rider or the commuter, not going to want to keep you in the tuck all the time, and that's something great to think about. Use a size chart. Remember, we're going to ship free over 39 bucks. And as always, we want your feedback. Hive is Brian's on YouTube every day. Just working that beard. Subscribe to us by clicking our logo on the top left side of the frame. And subscribe on Revzilla TV. Leave your comments, your questions, your feedback on the raceway, or tell Brian how he should cut chain links into his beard. You could do it every day of the week. Now let's dive back into the main construction. You're looking at a mixture of 600D poly on the outer shell here. It's basic, it's sub 300 bucks. And you have some nice creaser comforts that work their way in. If we look at the front of the jacket, you're going to notice five way adjuster snap here up along along the collar, and notice it's going to be mesh lined on the back side of the collar as well. If you're looking at the shield, which is the waterproof version, you get fleece lining and you have two position snap. Again, one of the key changes. The other thing I really like about this jacket is it's the first time from Revit in a while that we've seen them do this feature, which is a ventilated placket. So if you are riding in the hot weather time of the year, if you're middle of the summer and you really want to increase the airflow, you have your two shoulder vents, right, that are direct venting to the body, you have your exhaust along the back, but now you have this big placket on the inside of this jacket that's going, that rhymed, it's going to have a mesh component that's going to flow air right down your center line and increase the airflow. You can see there's a secondary red zip on the inside. That's going to be your entry and exit point for the jacket. If I unzip, he's now coming out of the jacket. But what I can do there is I can expose that. We haven't, like I said, seen that type of a feature in a while from Revit. It's forward thinking. It's going to beef up the summer weight protection for higher temperature riding on this guy. Now, if we look at some of the other basics down along the front here, basic hand warmer pockets. If we work our way into the sleeve, you're going to notice that you do have an adjuster up here along the bicep. And as we work our way down, Revit logoing, medial side on the cuffs. Very basic, no zipper involved here, just a basic Velcro cuff. Now, Hive is Brian. Turn and face away from me before I stab you. What? No, can't do that. If we look at the side profile here, these are new from Revit. External TPRs over top of your Knox flex form. So you're going to have that Knox light armor, CE rated in here. TPR on the outside, moving down, nice reflective pop on top of the elbow with some accordion elastication. They've given you a few areas for the increasing of that range of motion. And then here's one of the things that's polarized us internally at Revzilla. I like it, some of the other guys in the office don't. I'd really love to hear what you think about it. Notice they have some of this turtle shell approach. They've quilted it. They've added some temper foam on top of your armor in the elbow going all the way down, but notice this extra panel of abrasion resistance that almost has that quilting. They could have beefed that up without the quilting to it. I kind of like the lines. It adds a little bit of an interest panel there. And if I move his arm up really quickly, you're going to see the same kind of thing down here along the lat that wraps around from the back to the front. I kind of like it. It looks good on. Some guys internally didn't like it. That's really going to be up to you. And if we notice, they lead right into that big mesh backed panel. That's going to be your exhaust port for all of that hot air coming out. Last but not least, 
I would have liked to have seen them do a bit of a stretch panel within this jacket. They didn't do it. Again, it's a boxier cut, so you have more range of motion. Just my two cents on how they could have improved it. And if we work our way down, you're going to see down here along the waist that you have your basic cinch. Now, Hive is Brian, turn the face backwards. On the back side, you're going to see, starting at the collar, you have that nice leather style roll that worked its way all the way to the front. It's going to be nice and comfortable. A little bit of pop of synthetic leather with the Revit logo. And I do like that they've worked additional reflectivity into the Revit logo down here, which is going to be their tri corner logo. So you have your Revit written logo, you have reflectivity underneath that tri corner logo. And working our way down, you're going to see you get a nice drop seat. It's going to give you that short connection zipper. There's also going to be a jeans loop if you're riding and you want to just connect it to your jeans very simply. I like that they're doing that again, giving you more flexibility. If I was commuting and I was wearing this every day, jeans or riding pants, I'm going to want to hook that down in case I have it off to keep it in place if I happen to slide, even at slow speeds. And they give you that option. Again, one of those nice creature comforts. Come back around to the front. Now, I will tell you, as we begin to bust into this secondary zipper and expose this placket a little bit further, you're going to see that it is mesh to flow air on the waterproof version. It's a non-waterproof liner. You'll notice that this, is, this feature is intact, and it really gives you double coverage with an additional rain gutter. Did I just touch your beard? That'll never happen again. If we open this up, you're going to see basic pockets on the inside, basic mesh lining. You see the mesh lining up here along the collar. And the other thing that's nice about this is you see these hooks. It's actually set up and this zipper for the Revit Challenger cooling vest. So you can buy that Hypercool Challenger cooling vest separately. You get it damp, you put it inside, and what happens through evaporative cooling, it keeps you comfortable for hours on end. That's a nice touch. You have that flexibility factor. Open the side. Napoleon pocket. Actually, they didn't give you the Napoleon pocket. They just gave you a secondary pocket along the left side. I'm going to write two letters a week till they change that. But again, at around the $250 mark, you can zip that bad boy back up. I'm actually a big fan of what they did here. It's sporty. It ties in nicely with the theme of the GT, the GT Air that we saw do so well, which is really more of a mesh side of things. And they've taken it and they've created the shield, which is going to be that waterproof version if you want to go three season cold weather. The next step in your journey is to call Hive as Brian at home on the weekend. Lies. The next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the raceway at revzilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it, but hopefully I've given you enough information to be able to home in on your search. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. And as always, thanks for watching our detailed breakdown video. And remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, or I'm going to stick Hive as Brian in the car with it running in the garage, and you'll never see him again. We'll see you next time.